Hi, I'm Brian English, forum name Hyperbytes, and this module we're going to pull everything together that I've been doing over really the last 11 modules. Um, if you remember, we started with using the resource manager to create both our local and cloud droplets and the databases. Um, and then we moved on after those four modules after we'd learned how to create a separate cloud database to our series on Couch and PouchDB. We've looked at how to uh, manage these databases and now we've got to really go to where we want to be because in reality, n you're never going to really be using uh, a CouchDB running in a local Docker container. What you need is that to be pushed out to the production environment. So what we're going to do in this module is we're going to look at, first of all, creating that pouch, sorry, CouchDB database on our um, cloud, in this case, a digital ocean cloud. And I'm going to be creating that within that shared DB droplet that I created back in units four, I think it was, of the using the resource manager to create local and cloud da drop databases. And uh, once we've done that, we can look at deploying our application to the cloud and actually running it as a production environment as opposed to a local environment. So I'll just remind you where we were. Um, we have our cloud providers. I added the DigitalOcean cloud provider to that droplet in units, if I remember rightly, four of the using the resource manager series we, i created a shared database in this case that was a um, my sql database and in this case now what i want to do is i want to look at creating a new service and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new database so we're going to add a service we're going to go to databases and we're going to create pouch db this is exactly the same basically as we did locally. We're following the same procedure. We've created that and now I need to deploy that to our DO droplet. Setting up all of the fields now. Let's just wait till everything is properly set up and everything is running happily. And now we can create our database we create our user and as exactly as we did before now we're going to go into our database we're going to grant my user the administrative privileges that are required to run that database. So that was fairly simple. We've now got our CouchDB set up on our DigitalOcean cloud, and now we need to look at creating our data connections to it. So I'm off into the database manager. Remember, we already have a connection set up there, and we've at the moment running in our development target. So let's just remind where, where we are with targets. If you remember, again, back in uh, module one, I think it was, of the uh, using the resource manager, um, we started developing this. And I think in module three, I added the Docker container. So we still have that um, as we produced it that, that in that time. And what we're going to do is we're going to be adding that database that we have just created into that production target. So let's look at cloud database. Database servers will be DigitalOcean, MySharedDB, CouchDB, and the database is MyDB. So that's it. We've now linked our production setting to that newly created database. I'm going to save that. We can close it. And now if I switch into our production, we have a look at our production connection we see we need to set that up now so that's our digital ocean 
my DB. Let's test that. And there we are. We can connect through to that DigitalOcean droplet. Now we're all ready to deploy our site to our DigitalOcean droplet. So here's our big moment. I'm going to uh, just deploy that to our droplet. Uh, just mention we're actually running an IP address. I, I know I changed the um, the domain settings earlier, but I'm still waiting for some replication happening. So this will be actually running on the IP address on the domain. It's fairly irrelevant to really what we're trying to achieve because we'll see exactly what's going on. But for the moment, we just need to wait in, until everything is recreated. But look, there we are. All services are launched. So here's the big moment. What we should do is to be able to do is to launch this now in a browser. We won't have any data records because this is a uh, online version. And obviously these data records are coming from the local container. And we should be able to have the same functionality of adding notes to edit notes and delete notes as per the first part of this. Obviously the second part of this um, will need a little bit of tweaking, but that's really outside the scope of this lesson. So here we go. Let's go for it. Let's hit that open and browser button and we can see we're running our notes page we have no data there I'm going to add a note hello world from hyperbytes gosh Brian add that and see we have our notes added as we'd expect we can uh, edit that as we want. And we also have the ability to be able to delete. I'm just adding a new note there. We'll call that test. Put some gibberish in. And we're just going to delete that out. There we are. See, that's delete. So that's it. We have this identical functionality that we had earlier with our local Docker container. But now we are actually deployed to a full production server, um, which is obviously where we it would be running this in reality. So I think that's probably about as far as I can go at this stage relating to uh, Pouch and Couch uh, with Peter 2. I'm hoping to then be able to show you how to run a completely localized Pouch DB without the uh, reliance on Couch. But uh, that's for the next module. So thanks for listening.